my dream boom. Hi everybody, this is Jake Danzig with Pinball Investments. As a few of you might know, I typically only make videos on uh, rare coin-op games, uh, games that haven't been posted on YouTube prior, that or for business. Well, this uh, little video I'm making here is neither of those. This is just about a new game that I just received, and I'm absolutely just ecstatic about it. It's a brand new game. It's from VP Cabs, and it has custom artwork done on it by Joe Zabo of Zabo's Arcades. And here it is. I know the lighting in the arcade isn't the great, so uh, I posted pictures prior to this video so you can see the artwork a little bit better. And uh, the finish on the game is real glossy, so it, uh, it actually has a lot of glare on it from the other games, but it turned out just absolutely fantastic. Uh, these games come from VP Cabs with all of the Pinball FX2 cables already preloaded. Um, I've already went ahead and added uh, quite a few more games, um, all of the Pinball Arcade tables, all the Stern Pinball Arcade, and uh, Zachariah, and quite a few others, but um, just showing off a little bit of what it currently has, it's Twilight Zone. It's got a lot of the uh, pin names, such as uh, visual pinball tables in it as well. And it plays some classic games, such as Time Pilot, does Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. But um, my primary reason for having it is for playing just the digital pinball games, especially Pinball FX2, and soon to be the upcoming Pinball FX3. Um, this Pinball FX is actually my favorite video game of all time. So, when I saw this machine, I knew it was something special. Um, there's quite a few people I know that have the full-size digital pinball tables, which, uh, you know, resemble an actual physical pinball machine. Uh, I think those are absolutely great for some people, but it just wasn't the right fit for me. Um, to me, those uh, full-size cabinets, it seems to be that they're trying to replicate just too much of uh, an actual physical pinball machine. And personally, I just don't need that. I just want to play the, the pinball game. And I've been playing them for years, primarily on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. And um, playing them on there is just very intuitive, and that's why I even... Uh, looked at the possibility of adding a uh, Xbox 360 controller, which can be done, but um, it turns out it's really unnecessary, and I got used to the controls on it real fast. There's flipper buttons on both sides, and then a second set of buttons uh, for a nudge left and right, and then to nudge forward is just the uh, credit button right there. Has two monitors, one for the main gameplay, and one up top that shows the DMD information. Another one of my favorites, and uh, I was absolutely ecstatic when I got the uh, Super Mario Brothers pinball game in there, because I actually just recently sold my physical Super Mario Brothers pinball machine, so. Uh, might be temporary, so I'll probably get another one. However, playing this one here will certainly do for now. Uh, you notice uh, the artwork is uh, is all Marvel, Marvel characters. I got the villains on the left side and the heroes on the right. Wolverine, Spider-Man, I know it's kind of sandwiched in there, that's why I took pictures prior to uh, setting it back in place here. Back in there is Thor, Captain America, the Hulk, and Iron Man. Now on the opposite side we got Venom, 
Green Goblin, Kingpin, Red Skull, and down there it's kind of hard to see with this lighting, but that's Magneto. Then on the very front, again, I have uh, Iron Man against Doctor Doom. You'll notice this little tag here, Marvel vs. Pinball FX2. Well, there's a lot of Marvel-based tables that Pinball FX has made. Let's see if I can pull a few of them up here. There's some other Star Wars tables. But it's basically just a name I made up. And I actually told my artist, uh, Joe Zabo, I just wanted it called something like Marvel vs. Pinball. And then I wanted a picture of a pinball somewhere on there. Well, he came up with that little tag, Marvel vs. Pinball FX2. And turns out, I really like it. I think that's perfect. So, I'll click this phone in the stand here. You're going to have to excuse my lighting and all the noise and the fact that I'm just not a real good videographer. Maybe I could take some lessons from uh, Emoto Arcade sometime. There we go. Well, almost. Yeah, one man operation today. Fire up one partial game just so you can kind of see how it plays. Let's go to X Men. happy um, I don't often buy new in box games but uh, this was an absolute must so there it is um, again this is not a machine that I am selling if you're interested in a game like this uh, you can find VP cabs online and on Facebook and the same goes for uh, the artist if you're looking for some custom artwork that would be Joe Zabo at Zabo's Arcades I highly recommend them both, and I look forward to doing more business with each of them. Uh, if you uh, are looking for some other machine, you're certainly welcome to give me a holler. Contact me on uh, Facebook or through YouTube or email, and I'll get choked up. All right, there it is. Again, I'm Jake Danzig with Pinball Investments. Thank you for watching. <laughs>